trying to make major league history on this Sunday in Houston and the first pitch is a little bit low for ball one. Or three runs in that A's eight to five victory. Romber missing on the first two pitch. And if it's keeping the streak going, why mess with success? Two and one to count. If you want, you're the franchise right now. <laughs> two one pitch is a nice breaking ball on the game. Nine innings and eight innings, complete games on the road. Day's rest as part of the six man rotation. A ball into center field, moving to his left is Chaz McCormick, makes a nice running catch. Getting all the way back on April 25th. Well, Tapper, Maldonado's going to have to make a spinning play, and his throw is on the money to Yuli Guriel to get. Takes the first pitch for a strike. He's have played the Astros tough this year. They're seven and eleven against the Houston Astros on the season. The H has been implemented. That one bouncing in there, two and one, trading spots in terms of catcher DH. Langoliers DH in the last two games, and Murphy catching it out. That one bounces in there. Count goes full. What are the A's? Where are they positioned? What are they moving forward to? Yeah, that's a good conversation topic. We'll see a ground ball here. Al Saying there are several things that I want to accomplish before the end of the regular season. And for him to go out and throw the, the complete game shutout was another thing he wants to accomplish in the last couple of weeks of the season. So it's one of those buckle in moments, guys. And, and what what else can we see from the radar at the All-Star break? I mean, he made the All-Star team. But it was Cease, it was McClanahan, it was Verlander. You Probably being talked about enough throughout the league, but definitely at the All-Star break. And for him to come out and be that, that confident and say, you know, I and strive for greatness and perfection, then, then you're going to end up pretty good. And I think that's Frumber's mentality, but, but it has been fun to watch all of it. Especially in a day and age when pitchers don't always go deep into starts. Frumber picks up his first strikeout. Justin Verlander and Frumber Valdez taking the lead. 24 consecutive, 25 overall would have imagined watching Fromber his first couple of seasons that he would be a guy that could lead the league in innings pitch per ground ball ground ball and escape ability because the defense is so good behind him but crazy movement we're always talking about the curveball but that sinker has great run to it sometimes no he was a guy that would Lincoln Fromber 6.65 innings pitch per start and after getting behind 3 and 0 he picks up a strikeout of Seth Brown who tried to hold up Jay Langoliers will bat Langoliers the rookie facing Fromber for the first time goes having a trade piece that's because this guy is their highest touted prospect coming up for the minor leagues it's already in this inning and he gets a third. Frommer Valdez strikes out the side. Altuve with a clean look as we start the third inning. This will be the major league in his major league debut this afternoon. And not a lot of curveballs like games at the minor leagues. Mostly a double A, 94 of those. And that curveball continues to play. Diaz strikes. Big look at bat. Here's Jonah Bride. He'll take a fastball for a strike. Third base against the lefty Valdez. The Meow Machine had started the first three. That needs to be a strike. But down two and one. Romer getting the start today. His next start should come. Raise a possible. First round opponent in the ALDS of the Astros. This will be a tough play for Pena in the hole, and he makes the play in time. To Last seven outs have been either ground ball outs or strikeouts for Fromber as Allen takes the breaking ball down and in. One and Mariners have a game later on today against Anaheim on the road, and then they'll play in one before the Astros next game that could impact that magic number. Frommer missing low to the nine hitter Nick Allen so he walks Allen on four up.
games. Tony down on the count here on there and see what happened. Yeah. That was the cut. Wow. There goes Allen, and the pitch is grounded. Yuli is going to try and backhand it. Altuve was there, but it doesn't matter from <laughs> trash bag. Right. Ziploc baggies. <laughs> Ground ball towards short. Jeremy Pena gloves it to his left and a wide throw, but Yuli makes the tag on. First pitch to Murphy's a called strike 0 1. Murphy grounded out to Bregman his first time up. He came in two for 16 against Bromber with five strikeouts. And all five strikeouts have come on the curveballs. He's down to the count here 0 and 2. Romber with four strikeouts today. Cutter to get to two strikes, but that curveball may be incoming. All oh, he bouncing. And down goes Murphy on that curveball. All five strikeouts today for Fr The thing with Romber's curveball, too, is you think you've anticipated break, but there's more. Double play ground ball turned again behind. Seth Brown leading off against Bromber Valdez. Bromber has had plenty of rest so far today. Last two half innings of rest has had almost 40 minutes off. And a leadoff base runner reaching on an error. Dermis Garcia last inning. Brown down. It's just like he has Seth Brown. Two and two. bit down three and two did walk five A's in those two starts picks up a strikeout here getting Brown once again on that it's other teams and against each other yeah that was a good little head-to-head -head battle wow a little tapper towards third Bregman will bare hand and Langoliers he has is the a 61st player on the season to play in a game making his guys trying to fill his shoes Fastball one and one. Missing the fastball again. It's one and two. Give him a couple of pitches to hit. And he spins that curveball. No chance for the youngster. Disappears. You know, it's a tough spot because if you're Mark Kotze debut. Yeah. Now Jonah Bride the batter. Ride takes one up for a bunch extra spin on this pitch right now for Fromber Valdez that it's even breaking past where guys are anticipating that pitch to be. There was a point, I don't know, about a month ago or so where gave him something to go after an attack. 3-1 pitch is grounded. Foul just missed the bag at third. It's three and two. Three and two to Bride. The runner will be off here with two outs. And Bride stays alive. Maldi trying to find that foul tip. That mark if he can get Bride here in the next pitch or two. And he gets him on a ground ball to third. Alex Bregman with a low throw and another scoop. First time up as he leads off the sixth inning against Bromber Valdez. And shoots one up the middle. And there's the second hit of the game right through the legs of Valdez into center field. Nick Allen, a leadoff base runner. Tony playing in his career high 132nd game last night. He's been playing mostly left field, getting a start at second base to. That ball slicing in the left center field, trouble and down for a hit. McCormick will barehand it and he'll keep the runner at second base. Play of the season turn behind him earlier in this game. As he gets a swing and a miss here on the changeup, Owen behind him. Out the plate, Owen two. Wow. Promber wanted it. Two count. That ball hammered to left. Back goes Jordan. He'll play it off the wall. One hops off the out-of-town scoreboard. In to score Allen. Tony Kemp behind him. Jordan. Kemp followed 
Nick Allen hold. Now a great play by Bregman diving to his left. And a backhand layout. What Eldez? Yeah, that's back-to-back -back doubles all over it. Three runs across. Nobody out with Sean Murphy made and where it is in the context of the game. Right. That matters. So that matters a lot. And hit hard past Darren Bush. Well, the A's are really for the fuss, and then you open up the floodgates. Bregman. Ranging far to his left, another nice play. That one cued slowly toward Bregman. He's got it. Quick throw to first, and they just.